Hi, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. All right, let me hold on one second. <clears throat> okay, reading now for Scorpio. Hmm. Let's do it in the same order that we did all the rest of the signs, shall we? Start out with the love oracle. Reading now for Scorpio. After this, I will be doing your sexual energy read, and it's going to be only uploaded to my Patreon. So if you feel so guided to join me on there, you have to be a Patreon in order to enjoy those sexual energy reads. Most of them are already up, so. Okay. I think I have three more signs to do for sexual energy reads. All right, Scorpio, reading now for Scorpio. Scorpio. Three cards for Scorpio. Whoo, we. Some of you are going to get some unexpected communication. You are definitely not expecting it. Or some kind of a racy text. Definitely don't like the next energy that came out. Okay, one more card. I don't understand this. We got third party energy, which usually means cheating or something along those lines. Maybe your person is still tying up loose ends with someone else. Then we got liquid courage and family. Okay, so here's what it feels like to me, Scorpio. It feels like your person might still be in a relationship, but, but, what? Didn't mean to say that. <laughs> but, um, it feels like they're coming out of it. They might be going through a divorce or something. Because we got family card, um, you know, and we got third party energy. So, they could be just wrapping up loose ends. Um, I have liquid courage here, so they are either going to need some liquid courage to come forward. Maybe they have feelings for you and that's the whole reason that they're leaving this family unit or divorcing or whatever. Or maybe they discovered someone was cheating. I don't know. Look, we do have unexpected you know, something, it's a woman looking at her phone, and then it came out right next to third party energy. So maybe they discovered something about their spouse that they didn't like. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not quite seeing how this is tying into anything yet. So we got to throw some tarot on it and see what's popping up with that. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use my light sears deck right now. So let's see what time it was. Can you see that clock? I can't see it from here. All right. Light Sears. Let's do some Scorpio read, okay? Why are these cards not shuffling very well? It's really annoying. I'm going to go ahead and cut them then. Because they're not wanting to shuffle for me. I don't know why. Okay. Strange. Four cards for Scorpio, please. Two of Pentacles. Whoa. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles here, Scorpio. <clears throat> I see you doing a lot of work on yourself. A lot of shadow work. There's a lot of moons on this card. Um, you're really learning how to balance and to manifest, working on your emotions, diving deep into your subconscious to conquer those shadows. Some of you are dealing with a Scorp or Scorpio, um, a Leo. You have strength here, which represents the Leo. Leo energy, sorry. Ooh, I'm supposed to not be. We're done. Okay, so this card and this card is showing me the balance, learning to manifest. 
we got all of this shadow work. The moon represents the subconscious, but it's going through different phases. So that's showing me this is the card of self-work. And as far as in your love life, so you're really learning um, what you like, what you don't like in regards to relationships. You're doing relationship shadow work so that you're prepared for when your partner comes in. Whether you have someone in mind or not, doesn't matter. We have Leo energy, strength. This also represents like you've had a really tough time in love, Scorpio. Um, we have Knight of Cups. So this shows me that you are romantic at heart, but whether you've had a chance to really show that romantic side of you, I feel like you haven't. You know, um, Scorpios are really hard to open up anyways in regards to like love. So <clears throat> you would have this side, but it would be, be like a secret side that you don't really show to too many people. But I feel like you have the capacity to love in a very huge expansive way. But you've had to recently let go of something. Five of Cups shows me that you sort of let go of something or someone. Okay. All right. Scorpio. Four cards for Scorpio. Do four of these and then we're going to do some um, Gypsy Witch on here. Scorpio. Four cards for Scorpio, please. What do our Scorpios need to know? Why do we have this Five of Cups? What is going on? Show me. Oh, the moon. So you did a lot of shadow work and you just realized that you weren't happy where you were currently. That's okay. There's also a lot of triggers that were coming up. And so you just feel felt like you had to cut losses with someone or something that wasn't serving you and again it's you're going through a massive transformation could be for some of you even another dark night of the soul we got death which is transformation it's your card scorpio it's scorpio energy the moon i again i was saying it's represent your subconscious the shadows the balancing the diving deep into your shadows to transform your energy. Look at that with death. And then we got the nine of swords, which shows me that, yes, the shadow work has gotten heavy. And it's to the point where, like, you're experiencing a lot of anxiety about something. So be careful of letting that shadow work get too deep, Scorpio, because then you can fall into this energy of anxiety and depression and nightmares. And we don't want that. Know when to pull yourself out of your shadow work and take a break. Last card for Scorpio from this deck, please. Okay, so you are slowly but surely moving in the right direction, okay? You're making steady progress. I see that with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Okay. Okay. I don't know where that progress is going, but I'm sure you know. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, let's do some gypsy cards for you. And then we'll do some romance angels and we're going to call it a reading. I don't really see you having anyone new coming in right now. I feel like you're sort of doing a solo single thing right now, Scorpio, for a lot of you Scorpios. <clears throat> because you're focusing on yourself and your shadow work. But I don't know. That's what it's showing right now. Something might come up in this gypsy tarot that shows a new love. But as of right now, I don't see much happening in that area. Number nine. The birds signify misfortune and fierce enemies. Ooh, so be careful of that, Scorpio. Why are you, am I feeling a hair somewhere? So annoying. I hate when that happens. It bothers me. There it is. I see it. Okay. So that shed so much. Whoa. So number nine, it says the birds signify dire misfortune. And it says dire and fierce enemies. But it says also a chance to avert the evil spell. So um, 
be careful, like I said, maybe the shadow work's gotten too deep. There's birds on here, which is also represents communication. So if there's someone around you right now that you know is negative and toxic and, you know, they are coming forward to communicate something to you, you don't have to listen to them. You can totally um, cut them out of your life and move forward. There is no need even to give this person even a time of day because I don't see them having your best interest at heart. It literally says enemies. See, and we got the fox. So someone thinks they're clever and they're not. They think they're going to pull one over on you, but I feel like you're way too smart for that. Number nine, and then we have number 11. This number is a, a master number. It's number 11. So keep that in mind, Scorpio. It says the fox represents distrust of acquaintances who are seeking to betray you. I told you. So someone does not have your best interest at heart, Scorpio. I don't know why this is coming out in a love reading, but it is. So if you're dealing with a partner right now and whatever you're feeling in your gut, you know, that is leading to you to this five of cups and letting go of someone, follow that gut. They don't have your best interest at heart. They might even be being unfaithful. There could be some infidelity going on like in a big way and you're feeling it. Something is not right. Okay. Someone is not worthy of your trust. I'm just going to put that out there. It came out twice. I shuffled the shit out of those cards. It came out twice back to back in this love reading. So keep that in mind. Oof. Sorry, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Scorpio, but I'm never going to steer you guys wrong. If I feel like Spirit is saying this is important, I'm definitely going to let you know that. All right. Uh, last three cards for Scorpio. And then we're going to wrap this up. Oof. I might even have to do an extended on this, but I really don't have time towards the end of the month to do an extended. Maybe I can do one for you guys in April. My son's birthday is coming up, so I've been really busy with that, planning his party and stuff. Last three cards. Keep an open mind, Scorpio. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I don't know. Take that out. It resonates. Oh, it says heavy chemistry, though. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So though this person might not be your normal standard type, you definitely feel a strong connection to them. And last but not least, we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Love is the highest energy of all. This is the keep an open mind one. Um, chemistry, C, there is a deep um, chemistry and sexual attraction here in this bond. Okay, take it how it resonates. Whether it's with this person that you feel this disconnect with right now. Which it doesn't feel like to me like this is the same person. This could be someone new that's coming in. Maybe the reason this new person's coming in is because you're cutting ties with this old person. This not old person, but this person from your past. And it feels like if this person was unfaithful to you and so now you feel like sort of jaded and you got this new chemistry with this new person your angels are telling you right now it is safe for you to love it literally says it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and the highest energy of all is love scorpio so take that um how it resonates with you all right i love you so much scorpio if you want to book a reading with me hit the little arrow on i don't know either side depending on what side you're looking at and it'll pop up all my prices that are in my description box. Please, if you feel so guided to, follow my son's channel. It's the only featured channel there. And he works really hard on his channel. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Subscribing is free, guys. You can go ahead and do it. Liking the video is free and it really helps me out. It lets YouTube know you like my content. If you hit the notification bell, then you'll never miss a video when I upload. Um, you guys can tip me if you'd like. It really helps to support me and to support my channel. Uh, I just bought some new decks, in fact, with some of the money that you guys tip me with. So I do use it towards my channel. Um, most of the time, 
so um, I have um, PayPal and I also have Cash App. So there's two different ways you guys can tip me. Uh, I think that's it. I love you, Scorpio. Okay, bye. I'm going to do your sexual energy read next. All right, bye.